uh, dear participants uh, of the uh, OPSA conference, uh, I'm uh, very happy to see you all. Um, I see that we have uh, not many people online now, but uh, this is, I think, uh, due to the differences uh, of time zones uh, to because the conference is a true international event uh, so, some people have uh, late night uh, at that moment uh, and to overcome this we will make uh, recordings of all the talks uh, for which uh, the speaker uh, ha has gave us his agreement uh, to record the talk uh, the opening ceremony uh, will be uh, also uh, recorded and now it is uh, my happiness uh, to give the opportunity to say welcome words uh, to the academic supervisor of the uh, HSC campus in Nizhny Novgorod, uh, Professor Valery Zusman. Valery Grigorich, you are welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, dear welcomes, dear, dear, dear colleagues, dear friends, I'm going to say really a few welcome words. Uh, I'm very happy that you've gathered uh, today to discuss interesting questions and to be open for every question you, 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 you think is very important. And uh, the interplay, the meetings between the colleagues are the most important things today. Thank you very much for choosing the platform of the Higher School of Economics. Thank you, Ivan, and start, please. Thank you, Valery Grigorievich. Uh, well, uh, as usual, I have a lot of things uh, to say, so I made some slides uh, for my talk. Uh, let me please, uh, uh, yes, that's it. Do you see my screen? I hope yes, yes. Do you see my screen? Yes. Good. So, uh, thank you, Professor Zusman, for the welcome words. And now, welcome words from me. Thank you all for coming. That's really a big honor for us that you, for the third uh, time, come to our conference. I am especially thankful to those who have found possibility to participate in the conference in the current tight situation. I mean, the international situation. It is uh, important to support connectedness uh, of the worldwide mathematical community and to conduct our professional meetings uh, in in all situations uh, i as as everyone i'm worried uh, about what is happening and uh, um, i have my personal opinion but i decided uh, not to not to share it with you because this will be misuse of my role of the speaker of the opso conference uh, so i just think uh, Thank everyone who had come. I understand that it uh, might be difficult for you. Thank you. This is really important to support the connectedness of the worldwide mathematical community. Hope we will have uh, very nice mathematical discussions. Um, please uh, tell your friends and colleagues about UTC plus zero timing um, because sometimes someone speaks, uh, skips uh, some talks or probably even their own talk. So please uh, tell everyone who is interested in, in the conference that in the schedule, uh, timing is given not in the uh, local uh, time of, uh, of someone. Uh, let me show what does it mean. Uh, here, here is the the schedule, for example, opening now, it is written that it is uh, 7.40. Uh, in UTC plus three, for example, in Moscow, uh, is the time zone is UTC plus three. So at Moscow time, we start at 10.40. If you are not sure what is your time zone uh, and uh, what is your number, UTC plus something or UTC minus something, you can use this link to find out the current time in UTC plus zero. You uh, click it and you see the current time 
in uh, in UTC plus zero. Uh, good. This is what I wanted uh, to say uh, at that at that item. Next, uh, talks placement uh, is due to preferences of authors and due to time zones, not due to importance of subjects. Uh, Please understand that all days are equally important. Uh, we have uh, uh, not not so many uh, participants uh, this year, um, so we have at most two parallel talks, as you see. And uh, this all is uh, indeed due to time preferences. Someone is uh, available in the morning. Someone not in the morning so please consider all days are uh, equally uh, important um, next uh, i would like to say that all talks start and finish in time according to the current schedule if someone skips his or her talk or is is late to the talk then the talk is cancelled and we use this time slot for discussions uh, or coffee uh, if you skip your talk or is late to your talk and your talk to is cancelled, then please le let me know. Uh, and uh, we will find a new time slot uh, for your talk. No problem, but uh, please, um, please uh, start and finish talks uh, in time. It is important uh, because the conference is online uh, and people need to coordinate uh, over the world. Uh, next, uh, please volunteer as a as a chairman. Uh, as you can see, uh, for today, for Monday, we have chairmen uh, for uh, for all uh, for all talks. But uh, for Tuesday, uh, for Tuesday, there is a two chairman slots. Uh, no one volunteered to be a chairman here. And uh, uh, Thursday, so you you see, just you just open the um, the schedule, and if you see a free chairman slot, uh, please write us that uh, you are ready to take this slot and to be a chairman. Uh, this will help us uh, a lot because I cannot be chairman everywhere. Uh, so please volunteer uh, as a chairman. Uh, next, uh, YouTube recordings will appear uh, at talks page. Uh, let me again uh, show you. Here you have some kind of navigation bar. This is talks uh, page. Here is the book of abstracts of the talks. Th these are talks. Uh, and uh, here will be uh, the link uh, to the OPSO 2023 channel uh, on YouTube. Uh, when we upload the first video, the first video I think will be the opening. <laughs> uh, so here will be the link. Uh, you can we will uh, update it uh, rapidly uh, as soon as uh, we can, uh, and uh, you are welcome to to see uh, the the talk uh, which is not uh, convenient for you to see it uh, just in time when it is because you have a late night or something like this so here will be the link to to the talks um next next is the next page the next page um this year we provide two networking events in the last day of the conference uh, let me uh, say a few words about this also. Uh, it is here in the last day of the conference. You see Friday, Friday. Uh, after the closing of the conference, there are two events, uh, each uh, with duration of 15 minutes. Announcements about conference, workshops, seminars, schools, or whatever. Uh, this is uh, about events that are coming in uh, um, the year 2023 and 2024. 
uh, you can make uh, an announcement. Uh, and the second uh, event uh, is uh, about discussing uh, of open study or job positions uh, and prospective candidates. For example, if in your group uh, you have uh, a position, uh, say, of postdoc student, um, you are welcome to announce it here. Or, uh, for example, uh, if your master student is is graduating and uh, is uh, seeking uh, for a PhD position, but uh, for example, at your university there is no PhD position, but you know that this is a good student, so you can uh, announce it uh, here. Um, this is a communication which uh, helps even more. Uh, to develop the uh, connectedness of the worldwide mathematical co community. So you can think of what you uh, can announce at those uh, events, and uh, please, you are welcome to do it. Uh, next, we are still collecting open problems in semi-group theory. If you have one, uh, please let me know. Um, the duty of making this list of open pro problems uh, is taking more time than uh, we all expected uh, so we still are open uh, to collect open problems um, please uh, please send us and uh, we will uh, one day publish the list uh, of open problems which will be stimulating for the community because uh, to solve problem from some problem list uh, is a prestigious thing. Um, next, uh, proceedings of the conference, uh, or maybe uh, thematic collection of papers, or maybe special issue, special volume, or something like this, uh, may or uh, may not appear. Uh, I have... Uh, have discussions uh, with uh, with editors of some journals, uh, and they ask if I wish to do it. Uh, at first, my uh, intention was uh, uh, not to do it, <laughs> but uh, if uh, people are interested, uh, then well, that that might be a great thing, actually. So if you are interested to publish a paper in proceedings of the conference or in special issue dedicated to semi-groups, uh, please let me know. Uh, we will see how many authors are interested in that opportunity and then uh, discuss this issue with them. So uh, proceedings of the conference may appear if you need it. If you are interested in it, please uh, let me know if you wish to send the paper. To proceedings next very nice virtual nizhny novgorod site scene is available on the home page uh, and also a uh, brief history of mathematics in nizhny novgorod is available on the on the home page uh, let me again uh, show here is the home page and uh, so here is the virtual site scene you see bird's eye view virtual tour in English, virtual tour in Russian, and the wiki page, uh, it's, it is really very beautiful. I will not show you it, it all, but just see uh, uh, see in a minute uh, how nice it is. Okay, you, you can see uh, this bird's eye view of Nizhny Novgorod and very nice virtual tours if you are interested. Also, there is a, uh, information about mathematical background uh, of Nizhny Novgorod. Uh, also, very briefly, I will see you, uh, show you. You see uh, many names, uh, worldwide known names, uh, Lobachevsky, Stiklov, uh, Bogolubov, Novikov, and, and others. Uh, you see, uh, there are people uh, who uh, contributed to solutions uh, of Gilbert problems. Uh, Dmitry Andreevich Gutkov uh, and uh, Professor Sigalov. So this uh, this may be 
uh, also interesting and this is short version there is also a long version also uh, the open ceremony file is here you can uh, see it and also here you see the uh, opso uh, logo that's it you see uh, i have a mug oops you see i have a mug with a logo uh with logo and with, with my name uh, I made uh, such marks for all members of my research group in Nizhny Novgorod. And here I'm uploading the logo so you can make uh, uh, your own uh, mugs, uh, T-shirts and uh, whatever uh, uh, as a participant of the OPSO conference. Uh, because the conference is truly international, it is would be difficult to send it uh, by mail or something like this. So you are welcome to just upload the logo uh download the logo and use it good next the final thing that uh Nizhny Novgorod research semi-group will not organize the next OPSO conference uh why we have some reasons first we actually need some rest and wish to participate as regular speakers because it's difficult uh, to to prepare to your talk uh, when you're organizing the conference so we need some rest you do you need for three years uh, um, we need uh, at least one gap year also we would like uh, not to monopolize the conference making activity uh, I think that diversity of organizers is good for the development of scientific community. Uh, if uh, each year conference goes uh, only in one city and only in one country, uh, that's not so good, I think. It's it's good when, when people change, when there is a diversity. Uh, and also everyone in the world is tied uh, of online conferences and uh, it would be difficult for us probably to organize the uh, offline conference. So uh, we encourage research groups around the world to discuss who will organize an offline or mixed offline plus online semi-group conference in uh, 2024. Uh, indeed, pe people are welcome uh, to discuss who will organize. I can be in, in information hub for this discussion, but uh, my email is here, but well, um, you are welcome to do, to decide with me or without me, uh, please. Now, I'm happy to say uh, that the uh, OPSO 2023 conference is now opened. Uh, thank you again for coming. Uh, I'm finishing my talk uh, and uh, it is uh, my pleasure to announce the next speaker, speaker Professor.